காங்கன் நாற்பத்தி Sorry about that. The dog is destroying a blanket because our other dog, Bailey, doesn't want to play with her right now, so she's taking it out on the blanket. I think they're fine now. Uh, Word Fox says, I am online. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is better than any Dong and Rampa. Hashtag free Tibet. It's funny that you mentioned Sonic Adventure 2. And I won't I won't uh, elaborate any further on that. But But we're here with Dongan Rampa 2, so you gotta deal with it. Uh Generic says the trial was finished last time, right? Correct. And hopefully tonight We'll see about tonight. I don't know. We have to see how well I'm doing. I'm tired. Uh, hopefully we do the day-to-day -day stuff in Chapter 2 alongside the investigation all in one stream tonight, and then the entire trial on Wednesday, but we'll see. We'll see. Because the trials last a while in Danganronpa 2. Like, I don't... Even compared to the last game, they feel pretty long. They hit... The last one had an intermission. Uh, Korra. So it's just like, it needs to be its own stream. It needs to. But like, I don't know. Sometimes it won't go as according to plan though with the day-to-day -to, -day to investigation streams because Cora, that's enough. Because it all depends on how I'm feeling and that will be long too. And I really just want to uh, catch up on my shows tonight. I gotta. I want to watch the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead. I want to watch the new episode of Mr. Robot, and I want to watch the new episode of Rick and Morty. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Gore Fox says I prefer that mystery. All right. Uh, Gore Fox also says I got a quarter mile left to walk home, but I twisted my ankle. Ankle. This sucks. Oh my god. I'm sorry, dude. So you're watching on your phone. Nice. Thanks for tuning in on your walk. Anyway, let's get started, because we're never going to get anywhere if we don't actually start the game. So I'm going to start doing a ton of reading now, because that's what happens in this game. For a Cora, long time, to God. humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. But people who can't win... People who don't try to win. People who try their best and still can't win. They are all worthless trash. <gasps> Your Eric says, okay, the last I remember you were doing the comic book minigame, so I must have passed out. Yeah, we got through that. And uh, we 
played up until the end of chapter one. So it was just like a, what, 10 minutes more after the comic book thing, if that. There are two kinds of people in this world. Oh, they're animating Those who his are mouth? born with worth and everybody else. No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. Which means, unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's right, just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Uh, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. <laughs> Damaduki says Rita will never be Big Pupper. Austin's gonna be devastated. Oh no. How should I put oh, it? Oh no. What I feel is... Well, how about pure. Rita? How is Rita gonna feel? More like a selfless love that... Both of them are gonna be devastated. So, I want you guys to believe me when I say... I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives, or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two oh, eyes he says the absolute about that hope shit. that Fair. lies ahead. Fair. Uh... Yep, yeah, I'm really lucky. <laughs> Corfight says, see, he acts like scrawny wimps can never become big, but thanks to anchor arms, now I'm a jerk and everybody loves me. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. So please, let me help you. Did you guys see that new trailer for SpongeBob? If you're planning to kill me, there was a new SpongeBob movie next help year. You carry out your plan. And the trailer just came out, I want to say last week? I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits. Oh, shut up. Pow. Who punched him? I want to know. Tea and punishment, sin and coconuts. Okay. Yakuya and Terror Terror died just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I headed toward the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. Wait, is it the next morning or is it still night? Oh, it's the next morning. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Uh, Damaduki says, somebody with green energy, but who could that be? Green energy? Oh. Ah, Hajime, you're already here. Good morning. Uh, Yo. Good morning. Ain't gonna do the stutter. We'll never get anywhere. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Actually, it's not stutter. What would that be? It's, uh... It sounds the same, I want to say. Whatever. I don't know why I get hung up on that stuff. Byakuya, who appointed himself our leader, was killed. And the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. Well, no. He died in a volcano and you were watching on a monitor, I remember. I remember. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Huh? Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. That... I guess some people don't feel so sad. Well, we already know she's a sociopath. That's like what happened. Byakuya and Teru Teru got killed. Go. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. Holy crap. Uh. What? Why are you always so mean to me? But... Still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? Hey, eh. hey. So-so, not really, but kinda. 
you feel bad more for his mom than anyone else, honestly. Because he had the little backstory right at the end. What the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. Eh, I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. No, that was not my intention, but... Hey! Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid, piece-of-trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spat on him, too. Holy crap. Dude. Alright, she has to be the next killer, right? Because everyone hated Terror Terror in the first chapter. And she's already setting herself up to be the most hated now, too. Hmm? Hmm? Jeez! Hey, what gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not about that, but... It smells... Something smells, don't you think? Huh? Eh? Again? It can't be! Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Mm. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. It smells bad. Um... It's kind of like how a bar or a nightclub smells after closing time, you see? Hey, hey, hey! I don't... I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Now that you mention it... <laughs> now that you mention it, I do smell something. It's like a sewer or rotting garbage. I got it! Kyahaha, I know what it is. Nikomaru's breath probably stinks. <laughs> she, you got me there. Oh my god, she didn't say anything remotely funny just now. <laughs> no, it's not Nikomaru. The smell is coming from you, Hiyoko. Mm -hmm. Huh? Whoa. Whoa, it's true. Hiyoko, you reek. What did you do to me? T a rotten smell stings my eyes, as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my, my. oh, she's crying. Hey! I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. That was close. Uh, no, it actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe through my mouth. Wasn't she just the one that was, like, super awful to everyone? But now you guys feel bad for her? <laughs> we all like... have to hear the crying. Are you even talking, taking baths? <laughs> uh, hick, hick, no. Oh, my God. You haven't bathed. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't tie my Camino sash by myself. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. Hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? <laughs> hick, hick. Really? <laughs> I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Hey! I love you, Mahiru. I'll give you a kiss. Hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to hug me. It appears you can <laughs> She appears see. to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. The air's suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Um, um anyway, what happened to F Fuyuhiko and Nagito? It seems they are both not here. Ah, uh, now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nakito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... <laughs> just letting you know, I don't know anything. I have no idea! Without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. That's right! He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course not! I'm not suspicious. Impossible! <laughs> That's right, I'm not suspicious. What's the matter? What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came just at the right time. Mm hmm? Hmm? At the right time? Mm -hmm. No, it's nothing. Uh... Let's see... Says, well, can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Lord Fox says she's a bubble blowing baby. Uh, no, she's just a straight up baby. Like, it's. It's. It's weird. It's. It's strange. Uh, Liz was here, says, hey boy, why they gotta shit on my son so hard? I don't know. Hello, cool user 16. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me, huh? 
I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that. Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? I'm guessing he's gonna say mono me. What the hell? You know, my mono beast. One of them just disappeared. Oh! Huh? One of the mono beasts disappeared? Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me? Let me tell you but this. that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Yeah. Hmm? Nature. Thought this is merely the prelude. The climax will occur soon after. The now then. Of pandemonium. <laughs> Let me hear your scream. I, will sh I shall make such sweet music for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. My entire <laughs> existence. I'm still being called a stuffed animal. Oh well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast either. Then it was a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise cat bot once said, Our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving forward. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again, he disappeared. No way. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing? Mm hmm. Hmm. The only possibility I can think of is... Um... Um, were you in the middle of something? If so, I can just come back later. <laughs> then leave. Yeah. yeah, at least that ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey. Uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Ta -da! Ah, yes, that's right. Ta -da! Ta da! I'm the one who defeated that mono beast. Wait, really? What the fuck? You did? You serious? Defeating a monster like that? How the hell did someone like you pull that off? <laughs> I'll talk about that in more detail in a different mode. Anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. Oh my hey, god. Hey. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Ahem, that's totally right. Now that you can all go to more areas, let's all get along and live a fun life together for sure this time. Love, love. Love, love. Um. Living together on this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Please. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? Huh? Why you? Nobody wants to live in a squash-buckling Hollywood-type action film. <sighs> I want to live a life where I can be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. All right! All right, if you find anything that can be salvaged for boat parts, let me know immediately. Um, it seems that everyone's united on a path that's different from what I had planned. Now then, let us begin. Then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. All right. Let's find a way to leave this island. Oh, yeah. That is impossible. Hmm? Even the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what is that? Ah. Hey, hey. Hey, Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't get that close to her. You're right. It seems everyone's attention has shifted toward exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape this situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. Let's go. Oh, we should save real quick, too. Save. New slot. There we go. We need to... Go to Central Island. Hopefully this takes us to the second island. Nakuma Rock. Lord Fox says, I have an ultimate move, how dare you? Damaduki says, hmm, Gord Fox replies with, it's where I take Gundam's hamsters and use their ultimate move. Damn. Fourth Island. I can't believe I picked the wrong direction for this. I forgot about this thing. Is it dead again already? Or did it hatch? Wait, did it ever hatch the first time? Are we good? 
I don't want to waste water on the fucking Tamagotchi. I think it's good. I don't know. I'm going to totally forget about the Tamagotchi again. Third Island. I totally went the wrong direction. Here we go. Second Island. She's right. The Mono Beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Mono Me was right after all. Well, lies beyond this bridge. Alright, I guess I should find out. What so the this hell? is the new island. Is that a tree fortress or something? The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Well, now's not the time for me to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Let's see. We need to go to a ton of places. Holy crap. Um, oh my god, I just noticed the red X's for the people that are dead. Rip. Rest in peace, man. Wait. That's only... Is there another fucking... Uh... Mystery student? Or is this... Wait, is our face in there? Okay, no, never mind. I was gonna say, are they doing the same thing as the first game where there's a missing student and you find out later? But, uh, no, in this case, it's... Hi, Daisy! It's just not showing our face. I was gonna say, what the fuck? I was no one mentioned this yet. Alright, ancient ruin. What is this enormous building? It has the ambience of an ancient ruin, but its shape doesn't resemble a ruin. Hey, Chiaki. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, sorry, I was dozing for a bit. You didn't look like you were dozing. You looked like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, what's this huge building? It looks like some sort of ruins or a historical landmark. Ancient ruins, that's what you think too. But it's not just a typical ancient ruin, don't you think? I don't know how to say it clearly, but... Yep. Yeah, it's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. Special place. I'll check around here a bit more, so you can go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Come on, just go somewhere else. Is she trying to make me go away? She probably wants to be alone, so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover yep. anything. Yeah, leave it to me. She's, she's completely doing her own thing, but her smile is so innocent. That's even more annoying to deal with. Oh, we don't even get to object there. Okay, whatever. Next next area, I guess. Ugh. Library? Dude, the Akua would have loved this. <laughs> oh shit, what happened to the statues there? Wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Yeah, look at everything. Bronze statue of Monomi. I mean, Yusami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's pretty sad. True. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant. What lame taste. The books and I'll talk to her. Hmm, what language are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. I oh. see. I see. Hmm, such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? The newest issue of Occult Magazine. It breaks the lid off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. That's quite a surprise. You are wrong. It's not like I read it often. I am just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. But that's not a good excuse at all. However... It seems this writer has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. Hey, we know that character. Hmm, that Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard about it before. Most tight. Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual inter internet users. She is very popular among youths, and is known for writing messages in blood at the same of wow. 
Apparently she is a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. You know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? Ah, this one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regu regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you just in case. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who calls himself the ally of justice. Also, also. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonia, calm down. Amazing. Thanks to the mask Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows the real age or gender. After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes. Hey, hey you too. I've been listening in for a while now, but... Why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please wait! Please hold on. It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. See? Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers, their value system is very different from the norm. What a marvelous existence. <laughs> I am totes intrigued. Is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. Jesus Christ. Right, we're actually going to keep going through all the stuff in the room, and then we'll talk to the people inside the rooms. The books on this shelf, what language are they written in? If I don't know that, I don't even feel like forcing myself to read them. Bookshelf. Wow, that's a lot of books. A lot of them have fancy co covers. They might actually be very valuable. Well, to a guy like me who can't even read them, they're basically ornaments. Look at that camera. It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras, so someone must be monitoring us. There's no way they're watching us for our safety. Or is this just gonna be the same thing as the other one? The bronze statue of Monomi, I mean, you saw me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the same dialogue. I think that's. Oh, wait. I've been found! We did it! Oh, that's right, we gotta stop by the shop too to get more uh, items. What? No, I wanna talk. Uh, coming in contact with the value system that differs from your own. Blah, blah. There we go. Surprise! I am a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like I this? I am concerned. That is very true, and just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. <laughs> Ta-da! Monomi is here. I'm reading a book. <laughs> ah, since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Um... I see. Um... It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. And what about your explanation? Got it? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do homework. Ta -da! So, I have prepared this library. Um... Prepared? You? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. Hey! I am a teacher. You're, you're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Yes! Real identity? Now that's silly. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more suspicious. However... I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see. <laughs> According I to the see. Silence Guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for a week's at a time. Which means? These are all probably things that they get that they donated. Hold on, did you just say this Island's Guidebook? I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? Uh, sure, why not? Jabberwock Island. Is a map too. Look at that. What language is this? I have no clue. It's, it's English. Then. And I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> mm -hmm. I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? Um... Yabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly what Byakua told us before. Gabberwalk Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. Holy crap. The central one is the smallest of the bunch. Like, one of them has an entire mountain range. 
The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large administrative building. Huh? It is strange. That is no? strange. I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island. We didn't see an administrative building. There was no sign of any buildings at all. The only things there were... Monokuma Rock in the park. The only things that there were... Oh, okay. I read that wrong. We're good. Oh, like that English to me. Also, according to this guidebook, it says that there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into the mono beast? But that statue was in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Please wait. That's not all. There was another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some people wanted bridges, critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? Then, what are we using to move between islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island like Palm Jumara? Jumara? Palm Jumara, artificial yeah. island. Palm Jumara is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. It cannot be. That especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Just kidding. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. Well done. My mind, you're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? Hey, hey. However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Hmm, it's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the end. Hey, hold on a second. But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Could it be? This island is completely artificial? There is no way that it's true. There's no way. That guidebook. It's probably just old. You are right. You are right. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things just to confuse us. Damn it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Right. Honestly. I agree that serial killers have different values than normal people, but why does that make them marvelous? Sonya's values might be a little different compared to our own. Well, she is a princess after all. Oh, well, and that's all she has to say. All right. Yeah, I guess we got everything here already. Oh, Tamaduki. Of course, you're obsessed with that with Genocide Jack from the first game. Still, a save. There we go. Uh, hold on, I'm stretching. What is going on here? Lord Fox says, oh god, she's one of those girls who idolizes serial killers. I met way too many of those kinds of dorks. Yeah, that's strange. I've... Uh, uh, anyway. Anyway. Where are we going next? Pharmacy? For a second. Alright. These shelves are crammed with a lot of stuff that looks like medicine. Unlike the medicines I'm used to seeing, these ones look way more potent. Okay, on the right side? No, just the monitor. Okay. Squee. What's with you? Uh, I'm sorry. I got so excited I started shouting. No, I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before, people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. What do you mean is this a drugstore? It literally says pharmacy on the top as you enter. What, 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 Hajime, what? But it looks like there's no one here either. Um, with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most Ill illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. 
That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Alright. That's, that's all there is there, I guess. My font says pharmacy. No, no, no. That sign is supposed to say pharmacy. Look at that. It literally says pharmacy drug cosmetics. Oh, wait. Drug cosmetics. Maybe it is a bit different. I don't know. Namaduki says, take the shots, you coward. Not with someone that's as, like, afraid as her. She's gonna, like, stab me instead. She's gonna stab everyone. Uh, diner. Let's go to the diner. She's gonna... She Maybe she's the next murderer. The signboard says dinner. Or diner. Ugh. I guess I should try going inside. I did show the front first. Why not just go straight into the diner? Huh? That looks like. Hey! Uh, oh, it's you. Dumbass. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. Fuyuhiko suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait, hold on. Why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? Nothing to look at in the diner, so I guess we just have to Hey, why are you here? How do you find out we can go to this island? Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? Shut the hell up! I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Jeez. <laughs> An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person. Then I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? So get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying person. It's got nothing to do with you. Huh? Mind your own business. It got nothing to do with you. Alright, actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? Hmm. I'm not avoiding you bastards. I'm, I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to re rely on anyone? Hmm. That includes the Kuzuryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh. Hey, are you actually- Don't misunderstand. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it out on my own without relying on my clan. Huh. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister. Shut the hell up! Shut up! Why do you let me bring that up anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway. I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Come of it. Nothing good can come of it. Huh. Hmm, isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others just will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakua and Teru Teru, are proof of that. Hmm. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You're you're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Jesus, even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. Hmm. Hey, you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. <laughs> My god. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. Apparently. Also look at here. The diner signboard is spinning. A spinning restaurant signboard on an uninhabited island is kind of freaky. What's here? Chandler Beach. Oh, that's why it showed the front, because you go from somewhere else, too. You go to this place. Okay, someone's screaming already. A scream? That voice just now. Wasn't that Ibuki? 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 Oh. Probably check up on her first, then. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Ibuki, are you alright? What happened? Emergency! This is bad. I'm panicking so much, I don't even have time to space my words. What's going on? <laughs> the killing, the killing started again. Huh? Pointing! Look, over there. So I glanced over to the beach where Ibuki was pointing her finger. Oh, well, they're not killing each other yet. They may just be sparring. <laughs> your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. What the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. 
All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win? Against me? That's quite absurd! Ah! Oh no, more domestic abuse. Huh? Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? We're done for! He's done it! Nikomaru Nidai's ultimate move, Super Body Blow. That's instant death. If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. Sheesh! Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Ha, huh? ah, this isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. That's even worse. The rules for the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. Training! What violence? This is not a real fight. We're training. See, I called it. But it looked like a real fight. Ha, huh? ah, I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. <laughs> We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all. Even so, why this sudden interest in training? Uh, I, if I gotta admit it. What the? Ah, she's alive. Fool. He's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. He looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Aww. What's a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers? I see. Kane, it seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing, it's all half-assed. You are not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Attention! Basics. Make sure you understand the basics. You'll always be second rate if you just rely on instinct. You. Damn it. Shut up. Then... <laughs> if you understand what I just said, come see me. When that time comes, I'll fight you once again. Don't forget. You better not forget what, what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I'll show you my serious side. I won't give up until I beat you. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. However... If she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl! She's probably, she's gonna, probably get... gonna get even stronger. Oh, she said the entire sentence. Okay. Yeah, you're probably right. Why is it all voice acting all of a sudden? What kind of conversation is this? Where Nico? Oh, what the? How does she block him? Whatever. So are we good now? The more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? Oh. You too. Basics are the foundation for everything. No, I get that, but training that resembles an actual fight might be fun. But just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Impossible. Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager. since I saw it. Huh? Are you serious? There's no way I'm going to be able to find all the collectibles, though. I already know it. It's not going to happen. Go to Beach House. Real quick. I have a Discord message I just saw. What is this? Oh, okay. Never mind. We're good. It was an at everyone tag. I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty lux luxurious. I guess it's a ce celebrity style beach house. That's the door. There's a trash can, but I don't have anything I need to throw away. There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee, but most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? To the bench. There's a fancy looking bench. It looks like something you'd see at a resort. Looks like this is the closet. Um, the inside is looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelf. But I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Alright, I don't want to go through any more doors yet, so we'll talk to him. Yo! Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something? The shower is out of order, but the ambience is nice, and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome. Compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey! Don't shatter my dreams like that. That's right! More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Whoa. 
Awesome, totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. Miss Sonia! I wonder if Miss Sonia would come, too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You can't! Whoa! It's here! Hey! Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? I won't forgive you! Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be, be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Ah, so you mean changing here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself. Huh? Now I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never going to give her up. You might let her down, though. Got it? Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. You guys? What the fuck? Why is he holding a fucking machine gun? Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them. No questions asked. Oh my god. He's... Oh no. Oh, Jesus. He's here! You, what are you holding? A machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. Ugh, I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. Oh my god. Control yourself! I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it, no matter what the cost, until the day someone breaks the rules. As you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Wow, that was totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Shower room. It's gonna say out of order, though. Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. Alright, so let's go to that door. This door leads to the road by the tunnel. Ah, which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about that. Oh, we have to talk to him again. Ah, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagito. Whoa! Uh, I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well... I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. <laughs> Who cares about that crazy-ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying! So let's just end all annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. He ended the conversation very forcibly, just as I thought he's definitely hiding something. Hajime. Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well? Um, I'm letting everyone else know too, but can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can... You can, right? Right away. Okay. Hurry up. Hmm. Based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. Oh, going right there, I guess. Oh? What the heck is this? Such a such a gigantic building. However, it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well, it seems perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin. What's going on? How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? School. Oh shit. Oh shit. Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Dun dun dun. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. That's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard! I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. Oh my <laughs> god. I didn't know you were also here. That bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> Did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope. Nope, nothing like that. Aww. Then who cares? I should have played in the bath with my Mahiru more. Let me ask. Then what in the world did you find? Kiyaki found something. I wonder what it is. Uh, just straight up talk to her then? Hopefully she'll tell us? Hey, Chiaki, what did you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with this island's secret? Mm. Hmm, about that, I don't know. Hey. What do you mean you don't know? Mm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it, and it feels unnatural. Mm. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. That's a little hard to understand. See? Look, that door over there. Door? Oh, it looks like a vault door is what she means. With a, another machine gun attached. It's hard to make out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like that's the door to the ruin. Hey. 
What's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Um, Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of this dust and clearing some of these root things off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try to what she says. You're right. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. What's going on? Oh, it looks more mechanical. That's what they're... Okay. Well, Machine Gun should have gave that away. <laughs> it's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It's def it definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. And what is the symbol on the door? Hmm, it looks like it's Japanese. Oh! You're totally right. I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai or Future. Future? Bastard! Hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Hey. Oh, right. That must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Yes, yes. Acting all high and mighty. So what's next? It, it's obviously impossible to put in the password without any hints. <laughs> ah, are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up! If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Hold it. Unless it shoots you because it's wrong. That's why the machine gun may be there. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Yeah. Huh? Hmm? What do you mean dangerous? Do you not? There's no one going to acknowledge this yet. That should be one of the first things they acknowledge when looking at the door. But instead, we've gone to... This looks like a sci-fi door, and oh, it has writing on it. The look, it's right there. It's right there on the door. Am I crazy? Hello? Acknowledge it at least once before getting to this part. <sighs> Hamaduki says, oh hey, it's totally not that door from that game. Weird, huh? Right? It's totally not the door from the first game. Not uh uh, Cord Fox says, that's just a Fallout Shelter do Vault door. No worries. Uh. <laughs> uh, Dawaduki says, not everybody's a gun nut like you, Pop Chill. What do you mean when it comes to your safety? What the fuck? Like, wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't you, someone be super uncomfortable the minute they see a gun, like, near them? And it's not in their hands. Like, even if it is in your hands for some reason, wouldn't you be uncomfortable if you've never held one? Like, this whole situation is like... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Fuck it. No one's even afraid of guns in this game, I guess. Whatever. What do you mean dangerous? Tamaduki says there's nothing more safe than a gun that isn't firing. Sure, but what about a gun you don't know when it's gonna fire? Because that one obviously isn't gonna be controlled by a human. It's attached directly to the, as they said, sci-fi door. Because that thing next to the panel, doesn't it look like a gun? Thank you, Chiaki. In fact, that's totally a gun. Gun? Huh? That's a gun? Oh my god, Hashi. Oh my god. Hajime doesn't even know that it's a gun. No, that that explains it though. That explains it. How can you know it's a gun if you don't? Or how how could he be afraid of a gun if he doesn't know what a gun is? I get it now, and that makes sense because this is Japan, right? <laughs> so it all makes sense now. And Chiaki knows because she plays video games, right? All right. I'll drop it now. I'm sorry. I know I'm wasting too much time talking about why they're not reacting to what I perceive as danger. Uh. So. Ugh. Oh. Yes, Gord Fox, your comment was accurate about what's a gun. Clearly, you're you're in Hajime's mind right now. If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Thank you. Finally, some sound logic. Damn it. It can't be helped. Looks like it better if it's better if we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! You do it then. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin, but the door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? Problem is, how is it important? <laughs> Thanks. 
You're both quiet. You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. No, I have no, I have no idea at all. I don't know either. For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. You guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? How would, how would you purposely cover something with dust? I think it's just purposely old, because the entire thing is covered in dust. It's just the entire ruin, not the door. Uh, just as I thought, you guys were hiding now on purpose, right? Hey. hey, don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch. Oh, oh holy crap. <laughs> Say you're sorry, bitch. I just said it. I just said I'm sorry. Is it possible that there is a connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter, and there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that would make them hide in the shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up! Hmm, several possibilities crossed my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? What are you saying? Hey! Um... For instance, even though Monami and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. <laughs> you can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... Hey! Keep your <laughs> tongue in your mouth! Well, I don't have to read this, but also more domestic abuse. Yeah. Did he just shoot her? My body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like that! Oh no, it's like a dash punch. Never mind. Well then. There, now that I've shut up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus Meteor Fist, this is the mystery, mystery of Jabberwock Island, a mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> that seems very, that seems easy enough. Is that going to be like the last chapter? Is solving the mystery? Then it'll, uh, the trial will be, okay, we got to figure out what that building is. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. All we gotta do is remember what that black and white t Tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island- I got it! That's right. There's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. I know! There's a traitor among us. That's what- that's what that ugly- Tanuki said before. Fine, fine. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Calling me ugly and a Tanuki. Those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. Hello. As he looks very sad. He's totally depressed. <laughs> if there's a traitor, they probably know how to open the door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. Uh. Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monomi is hiding in there. What? Do you really think there's a traitor among us? No shit. Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. Yes. There isn't. There's no traitor anywhere. Hey, bastard. Anakuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. She's <laughs> gonna laugh it away. She's gonna laugh it off and laugh it away. What's so funny? Hey, hey! Oh, just have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? Also, what if one of the hamsters with Gundam is the traitor? Dun. -dun, -dun. World Ender. I'm the one asking you a question. Don't just change the subject. Come on. I understand why you. Why you'd want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students, no, wait, elementary school students would come up with it. Yeah! But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So what is this organization? <laughs> is literally what it says. I don't believe it! Those guys ended the world. <laughs> ended the world? Hey, um... That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? So basically. You mean they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorist, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. Wait. Oh yeah, the winners write history. I, I get what that comment meant. I was like, wait, what? No, I think that's what it was alluding to. <laughs> like, in that sense, they're more like heroes. For the heroes who ended the world. What's going on? So what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender. Are you saying that you and Monomi are also members of that organization? Who knows? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is the organization that Trader is working for, the ones who brought you to this island. What? 
world ender is behind it all. Are you kidding me? Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. It's just another made up story to trick us, like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief, disbelief for something as ridiculous as world ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout listen to you spout nonsense all you want while I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. Oh. My my, I was kind of kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? What the heck? If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Silence. Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why, you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey, hey you better stop. I'm gonna punish you! Shut up, Monomi. Big Brother defying trash like you needs to be punished. More domestic abuse? No, don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. Oh. There they go. Monokuma and Monomi departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who understood what he was talking about? Um... Not a clue. <laughs> hey, hey. Alright, everyone's fallen asleep now. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. Alright. Interesting. Uh... Gord Fox says the last chapter is the hobbits heading home and freeing their country. Oh, that would be very nice. That'd be really like, uh, I mean, they'd have to free it. So that pretty dark because it meant someone enslaved it or something or took it over to begin with. But it'd be a nice, happy ending by the end. Hopefully. <laughs> Gord Fox says, dude, that looks like an average city on the East Coast. Oh, are you talking about when they were? Doing the flashbacks or whatever. I, I, I get you, I think. After exploring the new island, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender? I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. I don't like this. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. I don't think that's how that works. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to make, to try to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never ever eat red foods. Wait, apples aren't exclusively red though. Eat a green or yellow apple, dude. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Theater! Make sure you guys be careful too. Monokuma's crazy. Eat a different colored apple, idiot. Ahem! Hope's Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Good fuck says in all caps, Monokuma lives in a society. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Dude, I know why you're saying that. I can't wait for uh, for Joker to come out on Blu-ray. Morning already, huh? Feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. I want to see Joker again. I've seen I've seen it twice. I saw it twice in theaters. I want to see it again right now, though. Like right now. Explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. Speaking of movies, I put it in the title. I'm surprised no one in chats mentioned it yet. I saw Frozen 2. What an awful movie. Like, and I didn't even have high expectations. Because I like the first one. It's like, yeah, it has nice music. It's like classic Disney. Everyone talked about it because it was classic Disney. But in a, a new movie back in... Uh, six years ago. 2013. Right? Yeah. 2013, 2014. 
but it had okay music this this new one but holy crap is it just boring and aimless the entire movie there's like it doesn't go anywhere it never goes anywhere nothing is like narratively satisfying it's just so bleh i could not believe it for a disney movie i i legitimately could not believe it when fox says i just thought the whole title was a shit post it was and it wasn't sorry uh did i save we need we're gonna you know what you got i'm i'm gonna save i'm gonna take a five minute break because it's been over an hour now so take this time to get a new drink i'm gonna get a new water stretch if you need a snack get a snack etc 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 be back in five minutes
Okay, we're back. Uh, let me catch up on comments here. Uh, Damaduki says, I can't believe the cash grab turned out bad. I mean, if you're, yeah, yeah, you're referring to Frozen 2. It was six years. It's not like they rushed a sequel. Like, I'm trying to think of other animated films. Like, look at, look at, Sh okay, it's a bit unfair, but look at Shrek to Shrek 2. Look how successful Shrek was, and then Shrek 2 was even better. Or Toy Story. Toy Story to Toy Story 2. Like, sequels can be good. It's just, I don't know, again, I didn't go in with like, oh, this is going to be better than the first. I didn't even go in thinking it's going to be just as good as the original, because the original wasn't that great to begin with. It was fine. It was perfectly fine. But it just... I... Spoilers. When you just make Elsa the fucking avatar in the most unsatisfying way possible, with very little explanation as to how that works... It's fucking boring. It's not even mildly interesting. Oh, look at you. You got new clothes again. Great. And now she she went off and is living in the woods or something with different people. Even though they built up in the movie that she wanted to like just travel. So she just kind of split off from Anna, her sister, for no other reason than because they... Thought that would be impactful with the relationship as sisters or something? I don't know. It's, I, it's such a weird movie. And I know I just unloaded a bunch of different information for that movie. Real quickly, with no context, but still, it's just dumb. The, the context I gave is not much context to be... It was, like, well within context. Because not... It, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Anyway catching up on comments again uh gord fox says there are no theaters nearby me nearby for me and my girlfriend to watch joker at so we're just waiting for it on blu-ray to live in a society <laughs> oh you haven't seen it you're gonna like it and your girlfriend should like it too if she's into uh like the the slower paced like character driven movies and if she likes like dark gritty movies too because i know that's like oh dc universe blah this is first of all it's not even I don't know if you knew or care or whatever, but it's not part of the DC universe. It's its own movie. But also this, this movie actually does it well, where it's like, oh, they used the dark tone, but also wanted to make a movie. Great. It's not Batman versus Superman or Suicide Squad, where it's an afterthought. <laughs> so, you'll like it. Gord Fox also says, Frozen 2 is more than Sonic Adventure 2. Disagree. 100% disagree. 2013 was 43 years ago, Gord Fox says. That's the other thing. It was also super self-referential. Like, you know how Star Wars sequels, like Force Awakens, Last Jedi, reference the old movies a lot? That's what Frozen 2 did, but for a six-year-old movie. Like, there, what I mean is, like, there's only six, year old, six years in between Frozen 1 and Frozen 2, but they treated it like it was three decades, like Star Wars does. And it was so strange. It was so jarring for them. That's just, there's so much wrong with Frozen 2. I can go on about it all day. I'm not going to. I really wanted to like that movie. Or be like, oh, it was another fun little Disney movie. Because, you know, Disney makes fun movies most of the time. We won't talk about Wreck-It Ralph 2 either. <laughs> but, I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe they couldn't even hit my somewhat low expectations middle of the line expectations i'll say uh, whatever uh yeah i know i'll stop talking about frozen i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i you're right damaduki you're right i'll, I'll stop Lord fox says all i know is todd phillips knocked it out of the park with story and direction which hypes me up there's uh there's a couple like questionable decisions with the story that is more just like eh they kind of already explained this why are they explaining it again already at this part of the movie uh no spoilers 
It's just, but that's more like, eh, it's not gonna ruin the movie. It doesn't ruin it. It's just like, huh, strange decision. Uh... I don't even know what that means, Gord Fox. I don't know what that one means. Anyway, okay, we'll move on. We'll move on. I'm sorry. I'm wasting time. I apologize. It's interesting to talk about, though. I like talking about movies. Joker, Frozen, Star Wars, whatever it be. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That was a good movie earlier. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm sorry. So, where do we need to go? I'm guessing we go to the hotel, right? Or the, the restaurant? Is that still where we meet up? Or am I just gonna go talk to people right now? No, this is- I guessed right. Hmm. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think about what? <laughs> Ugh, isn't it obvious? That stuff he said about a traitor and world ender. I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one one night's sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me too. Honestly. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. But... but I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No. No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance a worst case scenario, Impossible. even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Behold! Of course. In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment, and we can't it can't move at all. Huh? It cannot be. <laughs> tied up, you say? Um, could you be referring to Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito Nagito's the traitor. What about that other part where you said he was tied up and can't move? <laughs> oh, His facial expression and the voice acting was really on point there. Oh. Oh, that's... that's. Can I go backwards? I want to listen to that again. Because he's... He sounded legitimately devastated. Hey, Kazuichi, what should we do? Hey! Dumbass, don't rope me into this. They'll find out we work together to... <laughs> oh, crap. You guys are both idiots. You. Hey, what does this mean? It means I they mean... kidnapped him. Well, you know. <laughs> there's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Is kidnapping against the rules? Because I feel like that's something that's about to happen. He's like, you can't just kidnap students. <laughs> Teru Teru committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? <laughs> So that makes him a killer too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. So that's why you left him tied up? However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. How should I put this? He's a little creepy. Uh, not that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high he could sell tickets to see it. Good instincts. Hmm, that's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right, there is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. Fall, my what they tears. like and what they hate, what makes them happy, what makes them angry. It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of all. How Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. Hey. You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge yourself. And? Anyway, where did you two tie up Nagito? Uh. The dining hall in the old hotel building. That's where Byakuya got killed. He needs to reflect on what he did at place. So they put him in a timeout. That's what they did. So you're saying it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy. <laughs> Gah, you killed him? Ugh, he's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Then... Then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm... It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> he's also the most likely person to be the traitor. <laughs> so isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. I see. I if so, see. It, seem it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Aww. 
Jeez, I didn't expect you two would be do something like that. <laughs> I wish you'd treat it more like an achievement. <laughs> Teehee, and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. Huh. Who are you calling tiny boy? Oh. You're here? Jeez. It figures. You guys are messed up. Okay. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them? Tch. Look at you sheep acting all righteous. Huh? What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> eh. Oh, did the shitty creep all bleed at me? What did you say? It looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Oh no, bastard. they're gonna they're gonna tie everyone up, and they're gonna just starve them. No, try it if you dare, bastard. Shut up! Shut up! You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You you're just a pipsqueak without the cur cause. Oh my god, I can't say it. Kazer you clan, backing you up. What'd you say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. You bastards. I'll make sure you regret that later. Huh? What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um... Kazuichi, let us just stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting. I can tell it's not gonna be easy in the future. <laughs> the future, huh. I wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to. Phew, on top of this island's mysteries, now there's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, this is one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left for our re respective cottages. So now we gotta talk to people. Okay. So what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Alright, we'll save again real quick. So. Go to the map. Let's see, who do we want to talk to? I think we want to talk to Gundam. Oh, we can talk to Nagito. I feel like that's a bad idea, though. I feel like talking to Nagito is a very bad idea. Let's talk to Gundam. Um, where you at, Gundam? Did I miss him? Oh, I did. Right here. Ancient Ruin. There we go. Let's see. Hamaduki says, I don't know how the hell they managed to knock out the ultimate luck without killing themselves. Yeah. Lord Fox said, what he said was Discord notification. Yeah, I know I heard it. Let me look. I'm gonna look at it. I got tagged by Rave. Uh, oh, he's talking to, he messaged me about, uh, one of the new Fortnite, uh, emotes in the game. It's it's a stupid emote, but it's so funny. The I don't know what you're trying to say, Damaduki. Uh, Guard Fox says you should try talking to the other students. Get some variety up in this bitch. I only want to talk to the cool characters though. But you did remind me before we talk to anyone, we need to. Go to the store. Where is it? Rocket Punch Market. We need to go to the store and get more items for when we're talking to people. That way we level up the, uh, the, the thing for skills, right? That's how it works. Or is that only in the first game? We'll talk, okay, we're gonna, we'll talk to Gundam and then we'll talk to one new person. All right, Gord Fox? All right. I don't know who yet. All right, we need, we need more water. Can't have too much water. Chocolate chip jerky, that sounds disgusting. 
Potato chips. We'll get a handful of potato chips. Sunflower seeds. Yeah, we'll get a few of those. Those will go to Gundam for the hamsters. Um, tips and tips second edition. Is there a way to like see a description? What the fuck does that mean? Is that just like a magazine? Uh, replica sword. We're gonna need this to defend ourselves. Oh my god, that was 50 coins. What's a blue ram? We'll get a few of those. Why not? Get more bread. Uh, we'll get two things of jewelry. Why not? I don't know what else. What's, I don't know what that is. Either Ramun? Whatever. We got enough. We got enough. We got enough. We're good. Alright. Back to the second island. We're gonna talk to Gundam first. Then we'll talk to another person. Gorfax says, Dude, you spent so much. Good lord. We need to have all the items. Amadouki says, do you have enough, though? Do you think maybe? I, you're right. I need to get more water. This body is I'm on the borderline of developing a relationship with a human, you say? <laughs> ah, you make me laugh. I'm the supreme overlord of ice. Everything about me is different from humans. My thought process, my principles, my existence, my foundation, everything. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Gundam? Yes. You want to get closer to me? Kh. <laughs> Such a meaningless act. Now then, let us begin. You should already be aware of it. The fear you feel towards an existence you can't possibly understand. We continued talking as if we were on two separate wavelengths until it was time to leave. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Gundam a present? Yes, we got we got sunflower seeds for his hamsters. Because fuck it, why not? Right? Hamsters eat sunflower seeds, right? You fiend. Surely I never expected a mere human such as you to possess such a legendary treasure. Yes! Regardless, you will not be able to control it. It was wise of you to hand it over to me. <laughs> I will gladly use it. Let me tell you this. Hold it. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. Oh. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile they were docile animals. Oh. Just as I thought, you know nothing. You will know true terror if you look down on them, just because they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. That's actually true. I remember learning about this with hamsters. They eat their own young. Like, it's... I, I don't know why. I never learned why, but I know it's common for them to eat their own, like, fucking babies. It's... It's, I don't know why they eat their babies. It's scary, though. Their territor ter territoriality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Oh, Today's tears. fight started when Sandy got greedy and enroached upon Jum P's territory. Jum P was knocked aside and his foot stepped into Magazi's territory. Then Magazi got angry and unleashed his anger onto Cham P. Listen well! I was able to quell their rage by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be that easy next time. I see, that's troubling. Could that be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? Let me ask. By the way, do you know which species of my four dark divas of destruction has the largest body? You mean which species of hamster? Um. <laughs> Gold? I don't know. <laughs> Dominique says, because they're fucking stupid. That's why. True. True. Lord Fox says, same with rabbits, except rabbits are sociopaths. No, I don't. Well, but maybe. But also, rabbits are fucking stupid as well. We, ha we always have rabbits in the yard during, like, the summer. 
and they just don't learn that if they come into our yard and our dogs are out there, the dogs will try to catch them, but they still travel through our yard every day in the summer. They risk their lives every time they do so. Don't know why they don't learn. Or I do know why they don't learn. It's because they're fucking stupid. Uh, and I'm going to go with your guest, Amadouki. I can't pronounce this word, but this one. Uh, aren't whatever that word is, hamsters pretty large? Oh, if that tears. type of demon beast became so enormous that it would be superior to others, then its owners would deserve to die thousands of deaths. No! Just because they're adorable doesn't mean you can let them get fat. Think of the strain upon their hearts. I see, you're totally right. Wait, now's not the time to be impressed. You mean which species is a hamster? Uh, okay, so you were wrong. I'm gonna go with my guess. I don't even know why I thought that was the right one. Maybe it's because it's the only word I can pronounce. <laughs> Golden hamsters are the biggest species, right? Yes, those fearsome demon beasts boast the largest size among all hamster species. However, they are also the most docile and are known for being the smartest too. Other tribes feel no fear. Thus, they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. Appears but only Goldens escape. know fear. Thus, they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? This too That's why you must pay attention to their causality. stress levels when you're breeding them. Hmm, I certainly didn't know that. Nature, oh right, that's right. Gundam's a fucking breeder. That still hasn't played into anything in the game yet, but outside of him owning hamsters... However, that, is, that isn't the only feature of Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You could even say they have unlimited combinations. Body is After much, much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur. A hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. How foolish of me! But now, all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he's left behind. You were probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make history. There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I have already given them orders to continue my research into the synth synthesis of demon beasts. <laughs> they know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experiments. I shall Beyond that, I've already world. made arrangements to leave my demon beasts to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. Do you, you will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. How such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they're born. What is that, like three years about? Remember well, three years for hamsters, that sounds about right. After saying that, Gundam walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Gundam feels towards all animals, not just hamsters. <laughs> Gundam's report card has been updated. After seeing Gundam wallowing in sadness, I left the area. Maruki says, haha, screwed up your social thing. I don't think that actually did anything, did it? Because it just let me try again. It just let me try again after I got the wrong answer. There we go. Okay. Ah! We're good. It's still bright out. It's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Alright, we'll talk to someone new now. Uh, after we save. But also, I was resetting the Blu-ray player because I have been keeping movies on in the background while playing games lately. It's good background noise. I was gonna do, uh... Jingo and Chain tonight, and then I realized, you know, if somehow it gets picked up on my mic, we may get like a seven day ban because they don't, they, they use that, that one word very, uh, freely in that movie. So probably not a good listening to movie while streaming. So I picked, uh, Mean Girls, which I figure is not quite as violent as Danganronpa, but it's still... Uh, like, holy crap, these people are mean to each other, movie. 
There we go. Reset it. Uh. Who? Oh, right. We we're gonna look for who to talk to. Someone new. Someone new. Only one, one time right now. We're going to talk. It has to still be someone that's cool and interesting though. Otherwise, I'm gonna hate it. Um, I can't talk to the manager guy because we've already talked to him. I can't talk to Chiaki. We've already talked to her. Who else have we talked to outside of Gundam? Akane. Akane is the other one. So it has to be not those four. Um, I don't know. None of these people are... You know, you know what, you know what? We'll talk to the samurai. Where's the samurai at? Did I screw up on the map where this person's at? Bridge to Central Island. Did I pass her? Well, I guess we'll find out if we passed her. Oh, what the hell? Right in the middle. Right in the middle of the road there. What is it? Do you need me? What should I do? Should I hang out with Pico? Yes. I don't mind. Sure, I don't mind. However, I don't know if I'll have anything interesting to say. I spent time today discussing various things with Pico. I think Pico and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Pico a present? Yes. Uh, let's give her potato chips. No. It will not benefit you at all to give me a present. However, if you're willing to give one, to give me one, I shall gladly accept it. Dot dot dot. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey Pico, do you like Kendo? Yes. All right, that was an easy answer. This conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of? However. Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. Pico's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Um, let's see. A topic that probably won't offend her too much. I know. Pico, what level are you? What? Could it be? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? What's... Is kendo just like a... Uh, like... Sword fighting technique or something? Does she hold the sword? Like... Tamaduki says, I'm gonna be furious when best girl dies before Pop gets to her. What? Who Who do you... Like again? The... 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 The nurse? Um... Mi Mikan? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. Yeah, Gord Fox. Gord Fox thinks the same thing. Is that who you're talking about? However, I have no need for that. Why? Uh, don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect, cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my aim. So. That is my reason for existing. Jeez. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Pico isn't just a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? I don't really know much about kendo, but I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? See? Really cool? You say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, thank... Never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? Dot, dot, dot. However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What'd you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness. Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. Damn. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. 
Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. You do have a point. Also, since the, his hamsters are called the Four Dark Devas of Destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. Hey, look at that. They may just be too stupid to know what to fear too, so you know. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Hiko walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Pico. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Hey. Pico's report card has been updated. I decided to go back to my room for now. It'd be night now, right? We have to go into the next day. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Emergency! Emergency! Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! Come on, hurry up! Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! Come on, hurry the F up! Curry rice, huh? It feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know. What I don't know what he's planning this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park, again, huh? Actually, should be able to just teleport there, right? Here we go. Why is there an arcade game there? I'm the first one here. The curry's all mine. She totally took the bait. Indeed, I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too? Hey, hey! What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Yes, hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here. Thank you for waiting. Okie dokie, thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. All right. Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. What are you gonna do? No need to rush, no need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Hey. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. <laughs> no worries, it takes skill to make curry t nasty. Good instincts. That is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? Go by four dark devas if of this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Wah -wah? Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys, if you look closely at this park... Oh, I skipped on accident. Huh? It's the arcade machine. It's right there. What is this? <gasps> ah, isn't this an arcade machine? Correct! Yes. I called it out exactly. They could have called it an arcade cabinet. Poo hoo hoo. That's correct. Thank you for waiting. So I would like the long awaited recreation time to begin. Don't tell me you're going to tell us to play this game. <laughs> hey, what's the game? What, what games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. Yeah. <laughs> After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then. It is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. <laughs> famous game. I shall now present. It's gonna present it. Twilight Syndrome the Murder name Case. Of the game is Twilight what does it say? Syndrome Murder Case. What does that say underneath it? Something edition. Investigation edition. Nice. What the heck? That's pretty lame. Games about riddle solving professors or collecting cute monsters. Stupid! Don't say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? Hmm. Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side scroll. Meaningless. 
years. I have no interest in weak things like video games. And I don't even know what a gen what generation a game that old is. You. With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring! But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? <laughs> don't disadventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make them. No, no. You know, like budgetary reasons. <laughs> That's a good reason, I guess. Man, and I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've casted a spotlight on a neglected title. And what's the point of this game? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it to just enjoy it, right? Well, done. You certainly noticed the good part. That's right! This game is gonna be your next motive! The motive you need to kill people! Oh no. After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Could it be? Uh, let's see. Gore Fox says, My girlfriend called when you were talking to Pico. How did we get from there to here? Uh, we finished it up. We went to the night or turn night after that and then there was an announcement instead of going to bed in the game so now we're at jabberwock park and monokuma got us here because uh there's a video game machine here uh damaduki says it's an actual game series how boring wait it is twilight syndrome is an actual game is it is it from uh who, who developed this game or published it? I don't remember. Is it from them? Not Sega. This isn't Sega. I don't remember. Also, oh, that's mean, Damaduki. Basically, they walk there like everywhere else. Surprise. That's mean. Don't be mean to Gore Fox like that. This game is the motive? Actually. In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. What does that mean? Here. If you're interested, then try playing it. Okay. Hey. You can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. Hey. hey, if that's the motive, won't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> that's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. Wah -wah? I see. That never occurred to me. Are you sure about this? Are you sure you want to do that? Hey, um... Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? You. What do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. Hey, hey. What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know? Is it really alright for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the Bye -bye. situation. I just realized, is Nagito here? Did they let him go so he can come to the park? To see what fucking Monokuma wanted? What the heck? This is bad. Hey, what should we do? But even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. It would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There's no mistaking that. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter, and the rest of us would be the prey. That's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true. Chiaki's totally gonna play it. <laughs> She's not going to be able to help herself. It's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Byakuwa or Teru Teru. After Fuyiko spat those words, we we watched him turn and walk away. But... Fuyihiko makes a good point. Huh? You too? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause... It's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. That might be true, but... Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I will never ever I'll let never another killing allow happen. Alright. Last time someone said they're never going to allow it got murdered. Just saying. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Huh? It's already that time, huh? It's 
better if we just break out for today. Or break for today. Hmm. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. It's the correct thing for me to do. But... But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Wouldn't it be funny, though, if he did say break out today? And it's like, oh, Nico Maru, you found a way to break out of the island? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna escape? But nope. Me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all of this in her own way, but... Sleepy. Ah, I feel sleepy. I should go back, too. I can't read her at all. <laughs> A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is it is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. Damn. This is troubling! You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. <laughs> the biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back, all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. That's all from Monokuma Theater! Man, being successful is tough. Thanks, Monokuma. Really? Really feel you really uh, connecting with everyone, huh? Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. I should go to the restaurant for now. Okay. As if by habit, I left my cottage and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. Huh? Hmm? Oh, it's you, Fuyuhiko. How unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Hey, bastard. Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Are you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up! Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. Say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to do with you. Didn't I tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What? What do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Yeah. Shut up. You. What makes you think you have any right to question me? I'm not trying to question you. I was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that? Huh? Are you going to tie me up like Nagito? Seriously, I didn't mean... Dumbass. Don't talk to me ever again. If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. Holy crap. That guy, he's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Ooh, the restaurant. Oh, wait, save. I didn't save yet. Ah, no. That one. Good. That's not gonna help me save. Holy crap, it's already 11. We still haven't even got to the f the next murder yet. <gasps> ah, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting? Huh? Hey. Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. But maybe it's better if we, if he was tied up forever. Hmm? What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kindly bought, brought him breakfast. Jeez. And then, listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. Do you understand? He says he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for really? you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey! Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. Undone being his maid. And not only that, I just remembered that I have a little business to take care of. Business? Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mahiro pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. Jeez, it's always something. 
As I recall, he's tied up the, at the old building where the murder took place, right? We're definitely probably not going to get to the investigation tonight. We're already two hours in and we're still in the, uh, the normal stuff. The, the daily life stuff. So we're going to get to where the murder occurs and save probably. Hopefully. Um, oh, this way. Alright, I have to click to enter the building. I can't walk up the stairs, man. Oh, no, no, no. This old building is being renovated. You can't go inside. If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? You know about it too, Hajime? Because um, Nikomaru and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Manomi is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as, a mur as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Please. Starve? What? It's okay to go inside then. Yes, make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. Oh man, imagine if the next death was Nagito choking to death. Oh no. Who would who would be the murderer then? Whoever gave him the food? So, Nagito's tied up at the back. Instinctively, I gulped back my dried saliva. Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously opened the door to the dining hall. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Ajime? They didn't even give him a chair? Uh, could it be... Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, they literally, I'm so happy. They didn't only tie him up, they chained him up. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality. But feel free to relax. He was the same, as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kinda scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. Gore Fox says, or Damaduki says, maybe if you spent less time with characters who don't matter for anything, you'd get through the segment faster. We have to talk to them! We have- well, no, technically we can just skip everything, but I thought we need to do the stuff. Like, in order to get skills so we don't fucking fail the trials. If we fail the trials, we'll never get through the game. Lord Fox says, dude, he's just kind of tossed on the floor like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah, he, he really is. Like, it's- they- I feel like Nikomaru and Kazuichi- Totally like downplayed what they they did. Come on, eat it. Uh, you're not going to feed me. <laughs> well, I can't eat it on my own, you know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me, so I'm glad you're the one who came. This got really strange. Oh, I get it. Freaking Mara Mahiru Mahiru. That must be why she asked me to go inside anyway, her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about... Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really liked that game a lot. D don't change the subject! I'm asking you... Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that is... You guys should confront it! After all, hope springs when you confront despair. You almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. I don't but... want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime! <laughs> okay, thank God. We left. Damn it, I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is... No, nothing good could come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna talk to cool people again. We're gonna go talk to... Um, where 
is he? Where is he? Right there. It's open. Oh, the... Holy crap. Did he decorate? Meaningless. I don't play video games. Even if Monokuma says it's the motive, I've got nothing. What should I do? Should I invite Nikomaru to hang out? Yeah. <laughs> Come at me, Hajime. Sparring together like this is the true path to manhood. I was completely worn out today by Nikomaru's harsh training. Dude, we're sparring? Dude, Hajime's gonna be a fighter. Looks like Nikomaru and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Nikomaru a present? Definitely. Uh, he gets water. What is it? That's a strange thing you have. Well, if you're giving it to me, I'll gladly accept it. Hmm. Nikomaru is staring at me and groaning. I don't know how to say it, but the way he's looking at me is making me extremely uncomfortable. Hmm? What? Oh. Hajime, lend me your body. Whoa, hey, whoa! Nigomaru felt me all over my body before I quickly broke free. What the heck? What's going on? Hmm, just as I thought. I wasn't wrong. You will become an amazing athlete if you train yourself. Huh? You must have been born with good bone structure. We'll need to change your diet, bulk up your muscle mass. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about? You're calling me an athlete, but what are you talking about? Huh? I'm talking about you, obviously. Huh? Sheesh. I'm a manager, you know. It's my job to help athletes figure out what they want to become. I don't mind which athlete you want to become, but it's wrong for me to decide that for you. Whether or not he decides, he's treating me like an athlete for some reason, but it doesn't matter at all? Then... Let's see. For example, how about that? Oh. Using your entire body to fight over a ball, a sport that is truly the manliest of men's sports. I don't really want to think about it, though. Nikomaru is probably talking about rugby. Is it rugby? <laughs> you got it right. Bullseye. So what I mean is, rugby was originally a religious service in the Shinto religion. The men would fight over a bundle of rice planters in hopes of a rich harvest. It's a holy sport said to have originated when the first bead of, yet yeah, bead of sweat fell onto the first rice seed, according to Spike Books. That is. No way, I don't know anything about rugby, and I've never even seen a match in the first place. That doesn't matter at all. Your calm judgment skills, your high degree of mobility, and you obviously know the importance of teamwork. You may very well be a natural on the rugby field. Aren't you overestimating me a bit? Ha, my eyes are never deceived. Even if you might be. If you're ever interested, let me know. I'll take care of you anytime. Igumaro walked away with a big smile on his face. Even if he compliments me, I don't think I'd be any good at rugby. Or do I really have that kind of natural ability? My heart is swayed. Is this the work of the ultimate team manager's scouting skill? Nico Maro's report card has been updated. I should return to my cottage for now. It's still light outside. There's still plenty of time left. Maybe I should try going somewhere, or should I spend time with someone? Gord Fox says at least someone sees value in your pop, Kappa. Thank, thanks, Gord Fox. You're really making me feel good there. Great. <laughs> Just... Uh... Oh, shit. I have to look at the map. Uh... Uh, we gotta talk to someone cool again. The... Who, who else? We... We talked to Gundam. We talked to Nigomaru. Who are the other ones? Uh... Akane and Chiaki. Chiaki's right here, so let's go here. Right there. Whenever I'm playing games, I get a strong, strong urge to eat whatever food appears in the game. Um, so I guess I want to eat donuts right now. What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Yes. Let's go. I wonder if the supermarket has any donuts? Alright, I should go check. We found donuts and spent time eating them and talking to each other. 
Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Uh, yeah. And... Do, do we give more potato chips? We have plenty of potato chips. Not sunflower seeds. Not foolery. Um... Not the replica sword. Oh, <laughs> wooden stick. Broken wand. Three star badge. Alright, we're just giving potato chips. That seems like a safe choice. Well, I can have this? Thank you. Hmm. hmm, I don't think you can raise the flag with this item. Dot, dot, dot. Is she sleeping again? Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and rest? Morning. Uh, no. Since you're here, let's talk. Ah. If you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. My adventure ended like this. That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half asleep. Huh? huh? I can't believe you don't get my Shadowgate joke. Hey, if you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. Mm. I want to go to a fun place. A fun place, huh? The park? How about the park? Hey, hey. When you're playing a game at the park, all the kids just gather around for no reason. There was a game you're only able to play in the sun. It's very difficult for adults and shut-ins to play. Looks like she wants to go somewhere else. A fun place, huh? What? What if, if it's... What? The airport. Want to check out the airport? Um, there might be a gunfight at the airport, so I don't want to go. What? Do you get motion sickness when you watch someone who sucks play an FPS? I should choose somewhere else. Fun place, huh? The supermarket is the fun place out of these three choices. Okay. Whatever. Should we go check out the supermarket? Yep. I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Chainsaws are the strongest, though. Sounds fun, so it's fine. I don't really know what it means, but I guess it's fine if Chiaki is okay with it. Chiaki and I walked to the supermarket together. We walked through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival. This place has too much for, of everything. Dot dot dot. Hmm? What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These, sweet look, these sweets look cute. Oh, those are sweet rice crackers for girls' day. Man, this place seriously has everything. I see, they're called sweet rice crackers. You eat them during girls' day, you know? Huh? What's girls' day? Huh? You know, it's on March 3rd. You're a girl? Didn't you celebrate it with your family? Ah, crap. I'm sure she has her reasons for not knowing, but even so, I... Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Forget about what I said. Nope. Um, I don't really mind. I did have a family. My father. You had a father? Then your mother... No, I shouldn't ask to ask about something like that. Hey, hey. So what is Girls' Day anyway? It's a doll festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for girls' health and success. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different colors. Mm. I see. <laughs> That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. It's nothing, really. I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this. But for her not to know what Girls' Day is, what kind of past does Shiaki have? It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about a place I can take Chiaki that will make her happy. Chiaki's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. I took Chiaki back to her room. Otherwise, she'd just find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. Okay. And is there going to be another Monokuma announcement? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone! Good night! <coughs> On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should give it a try. Just a little. Just to see how it is. Oh my god. No. And let's save. First of all, let's save. Oh, what time is it? I think we should take another five minute break to stretch and stuff. It's been like another hour already. So... We are going to 
go to the away screen. Stretch again, get a drink, go to the bathroom, whatever you need. Uh, let me catch up on comments real quick, though. So, uh, let's see. Damaduki says, should have given her a Blue Ram Gamer Fuel or a Three Star Duh. Is that, was, is that what Blue Ram is? Is it just an energy drink? I don't know. Uh, Igor Fox says, didn't she say something about the supermarket before? To get the donuts? I, out of those three choices, how are you supposed to determine which is fun? None of those places are, like, well, no, the park is like, oh, if you want to do something fun, the park, at least you, you have uh, somewhere to walk or... Yeah, there's games always going on at parks and stuff, you know, or you bring your dog there But the the other choices were the supermarket What you do at the supermarket outside of buying food and the airport What's fun about the airport? Like it's just crowded and noisy Don't you're just waiting there for a plane whatever uh Lord Fox says, already going to a girl's house? Damn pop. <laughs> Gord Fox says, I don't know what that word means. Okay, anyway, stretch, uh, food, water, bathroom, whatever you need. We'll be back in about five minutes.
we're back. We're back. Oh, we... We save already. Need to go to the center island now. Check out whatever this is. So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. So I should just go for it. Say so, dude. I guess for now I should try playing it a little. I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game, and the screen automatically lit up. I hope this isn't like an actual mini game right now. As I face the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft. The game is a work of non-fiction. Any resemblances to real persons living or dead is purely intentional. <laughs> This game, it has a strange, old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Oh well, I should try to start it up. It'll start if I press the enter key, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Please press the enter key with your own hands. Oh my god. Dot dot dot. Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Um, don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to girl B for now. I should talk to girl B first. Um, we're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Yeah. Huh? What newspaper? God, you're such a slowpoke, girl, eh? It's in today's evening newspaper. This one. Here you go. Just read it. July 8th, at around 6 a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. It seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say the investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school, so they might be thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen, too. That sick, twisted bastard. Sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window. Yeah, we're all in danger, too. But is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. No, don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right. All we did was find a body and not report it. <laughs> That's not really a crime. I, I think that that I think that is. But still, I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this, right? Isn't that right, Girl D? Yeah, I agree. But what's up? You don't seem so sure. Um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? To be honest, I, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. Oh my god. That sounds like the worst thing you could have ever done. Where are those photos now? I have them, right here. What? I don't want to look at them. We're definitely going to get cursed. Cursed? Stupid. Curses aren't even real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Ah, uh, hey! This is bad. If you rip it like that, the curse... I just said curses don't, curses don't exist. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Okay. Hey, girl E, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind. Let's just forget about the whole incident. We had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the first ones to discover the body. 
Okay, the end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. What? Everyone's probably gone back by now. Then I guess I have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time that incident occurred too. Ah oh, geez, why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right, I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. Oh, okay. I get it. Forgive me. Forgive me. Never. Never, 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 never. Okay. Jesus. I will never forgive you. Damn, dude. The minigame over yet? Oh my god. It's still going. Ah, girl A. What happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, her head is split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. It's the curse. It's all the curse's fault because of the curse. Girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look in there. Classroom 1B. Where? Clatter, clatter, clatter. Jesus. Game over. What? Dot, dot, dot. Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden and jumped to the fourth day afterward. Why were the first and third day skipped? And what's with this down five message on the game over screen? Down five? Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? <laughs> For now, it's a waste of time to just stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented, and as I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Goldfox hey, says spoopy? Um... Yeah. <laughs> Goldfox says Monokuma sucks at game design? Yeah. Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Oh my god, Monokuma's having a shower thought. That, that's what this is right now. Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No, why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting this urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for gentlemen, and what, wait, what awaited me was another important question. The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese-style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions awaiting Brought for you. To you by That's what life is all about. Jesus. Or Fox says he should post it on Reddit and get 8 billion gold? Yeah. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Morning, huh? In the end, that game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. Just save before I forget. I know, I do a lot of saving. And I wish there was a quick save button, but. Game crashes. Now it is. Don't need to. 
lose 30 minutes of progress or more because I forgot to save at some point. Lord Fox says, Good dude, day. if this lasts any longer, I'm just heading. When is murder time? Yeah, I'm. as soon as we get to that point, that cutoff is when we're going to be done tonight. Because this is long. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate and sat myself at a table near the window. Yo. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're going to eat? What? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like? You should just eat real fruit. Dot, dot, dot. This seems like a bad time to bring up the game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you this. Is Mahiru missing? Hmm? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant. And sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. <clears throat> she's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. Um, I wonder if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she just doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... What the? A small chance she's what? Um, hmm? um, I saw Mahiru. She was outside the hotel. <laughs> oh, I see. Jeez! Don't say such a spooky thing. As punishment, how about you run around in a circle three times, say woof, and jump off a cliff? Uh, I don't want to die like that. Hey, hey! But what was Mahiru doing outside the hotel? Yo. She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. What? Wanted to be alone? Um, Maybe she's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, pig barf? There's no way Mahiru would play video games. She's not like the slowpoke gamer girl over there. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Ah, were you referring to me? <laughs> Eek! I am pig barf, aren't I? Looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo! Hey, Hajime, got a second? What is it? Kazuichi leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered, yeah. Today, 2.30 p.m., come to the supermarket. But don't tell anyone else about it. Huh. I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean, it's bad? You fiend. Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... Nothing. It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've, ele you've elevated... You've elevated arrogance to an art form. Shiver. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. Oh, All I desire geez. is silence and indifference. Jeez. Silence and indifference. And look at him. Look at the hamsters. It's amazing. Fuck, I forgot a whole four words. I'm sleepy. Yeah, I was wondering what the what how you were gonna complete that sentence, Gord Fox. Uh Yeah, Gord Fox says, damn your friend insulting the fuck out of you. Yeah. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, Hajime. That's what's happening, so I'll see you then. You know, right? Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy. <laughs> I'll see you later. What was that about? Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi, and that day's breakfast came to an end. Now we're gonna go to the supermarket. Um, Kazuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30, but what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. Alright. Okay. Since he told me to conserve my energy, should I take a- I should take a little rest. Yes. That's what I'm thinking. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to- No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Gord Fox says he meant to have some 50 hour energy. True. Huh? It's well past the arranged time and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I had been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon Yo! until... Yo! What? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. 
Late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late, even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why do you call me out here like this? Hey. Well, you know, can you do me a little, little favor? A little favor? Uh. I just overheard something. Apparently it's Miss Sonia's idea, for a change of pace. It looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. It doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you... Uh. As expected of Miss Sonia, splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. Uh. Oh my God, I admire her so much it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much it's about to burn out. <laughs> so, let's crash it together. Why me? Hey, hey. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach, and then we run into the girls by coincidence? Huh? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Man. Nikomaru can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is, well, Gundam. Kuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey. hey, I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. And now you're just gonna walk all over my kind act? You're snapping at me. If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi, after all. If I have no choice, then fine. <laughs> Yahoo! That's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. So, what do I have to do? Well... Well, based on what I overheard, it looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. All right. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it, so I need to go to the diner. Engine's ready. Yahoo! I'm getting all excited now. Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he can't take a hint. So we're, late. we're going to the diner now? Man, why am I getting dragged into the bullshit? Now there's gonna be a murder at the beach, and, or the diner, and everyone's gonna be sad. We already knew something was gonna happen at the second island, because every time they open up the new place, that's where the murder occurs, but still. Like, why'd it have to be the beach? Do we talk to him or do we go to the diner? For now. It looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second All island. Right. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Okay. Is it this way? Because the ancient ruins are on the right. I'm trying to think. Okay, yeah, this is the faster way. Thank God. I wasn't sure if it's like in the middle or if it didn't matter which side I took. We just go left here. To the diner. <laughs> Alright, All right, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? Yeah. And when are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? Hmm. They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt. So maybe around 4? It's 3 p.m. right now, so we still have to wait one more hour? <laughs> Always make your move early. That's just the basics, you know? Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey. It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonia on her way to the beach, you know? It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass They gotta pass in front of the diner. So you better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. This isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. <laughs> yeah, sitting at a table by the window, I rested my chin in my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Whoa. Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. <laughs> 20 minutes passed, and then 30. As time passed by, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. If you're at a diner, you could at least grab some, like, some food, get some fries, get something. Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? Oh my god, Kazuichi. Did Terror Teru, like, possess you? I mean, it's not as bad as Terror Teru, but it's still kind of creepy. Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Yeah. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Huh? Isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry. I ran to where that person was standing. Oh, no. Here it is. You 
bastards. I knew it was you, Fuyiko. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! That's my line. Hey, hey! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? Who are you, you... calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard. Huh? Don't tell me. Oh man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? Plan? Huh? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh my my! That's a strange combo. <laughs> Um, today's another wonderful day, well. You are done for! You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. Well, I got so nervous I ended up blowing out something weird. Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you'd like. Well. What the fuck? Uh, um, you two. This is such a coincidence. Um, I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck at this. Well. Man, actually, Hajime and I were about to head over to the beach oh together. Huh? Could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Aww. Something's obviously suspicious. You eyes, you, your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. Well. No way. I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh? Where did Fuyuhiko go? Well... Regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30pm. You still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Why do you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? And you even know our damn meeting time. Hmm. Well, you see... For now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So is it okay if we join in too? Wow, he got forceful all of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? I really have no desire to do something so rude, like decline the offer at all. But Sonya was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course! And it's all good. It's too devastating to think Miss Sonya would decline, so I just won't think it. Yeah, Gord Fox, yeah, this is just desperate. It's desperate and uh, strange and cringe and all of it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey! Hey! Is it alright if we go inside now? Ibuki was gonna eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing. Let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off Fuyuhiko. Oh well. I've come this far. I can't turn back now. Alright. Going to the diner. I returned to the diner and set myself at the table near the window once again. Phew. Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what are you guys going to do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change in that beach house, you know? Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course! Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Huh? Really? Uh... Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go, this is yours. What is this thing? Um, it may be rude of me to say this, but that looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry, even at its worst, it won't turn into a live action drama. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? Oh my god, it's matching? They definitely don't want to wear it. Uh, I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Speaking. Things are heating up something fierce. When everyone's gonna... When's everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. And as she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh! Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Isn't that Kyoko? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? She murdered someone. Despite her questions, Hyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Well... Apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. But she... Didn't she just come running from the beach? Sorry, I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it just means women are full of surprises. Mahiro's the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Mahiro, she did? She turned it down? It's so unexpected of her to join in an event like this. In fact, she's totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! 
but it can't be helped. Apparently, she wasn't really feeling well. Um... I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hiyoko crying? Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey. hey. When you get here, when do you get here so suddenly? Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turned around. My, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit! I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. <laughs> hmm. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. <sighs> but how should I say this? Is this what Gap Mo is supposed to be? What? For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? Well, um, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such... Oh, my God. What happened? Jugs? Hey, hey, hey. I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know? Jesus. What are you saying? Uh... I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Hmm. The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit hey, me. Hey, hey. I don't... I don't look good in it? Huh? Well, no, I guess you look good. Thanks. And I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> Wearing a bikini bikini is sure daring, and you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping, it's thumping all sporadically like ba dump thump thump ba dump. <laughs> it's probably a heart attack. Yeah. Hey, I kept you waiting. We heard a voice as the diner door slowly opened, and the person who walked through it was Oh my god. Oh Jesus! Hey. Sorry, Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Keep you what? Guys waiting. What the fuck happened? <laughs> What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that! Be your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now! What the fuck? Uh, oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Yeah, but you... why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really you... alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. That's so much blood well, right now, dude. It'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? No, that's not how that You're works totally at all. Playing up the power of human spit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. That's all I can really say, Gord Fox. Jesus Christ, yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, you need to be treated, and you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. What is all this ruckus? All right. Oh, who is it this time? Hmm? Hajime, Kazuichi. Why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I was swimming around the island for about three hours. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Ajime. Hmm? What? Awesome! 
A woman with wet, slicked back hair is pretty fine too, huh? Dot dot oh my dot. My. In this body too, man. Oh my god. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Oh my god. Don't say such asinine things. <laughs> anyway, it looks like everyone's almost here, and it's already past four. If so, that's all that's left is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. <laughs> Miss Sonya's here. He's doubled down on excitement. <laughs> Alright, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? Ah, it's a wetsuit! It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really? Was this scream actually that loud, Gore Fox? Sorry. I thought the game volume was pretty oh low. I see, a wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I ex expect from a 100% purebred princess. What the fuck, Kazuichi? This guy, he's quick to recover. Um, anyway, what are you two here? Why are you two here? Uh, I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest, if you're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this was originally supposed to be a girls only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. Do <laughs> you think you can make an exception? Pretty please? Um, well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there are some boys. Then... You're right, they came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. <laughs> Ah, Miss Sonia, it's just so kind. Alright, All right, now that it's decided, let's get going. But Akane's movements are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines revving. Oh no. I mean it. I promise I'll give it all my give it my all to serve you. So everyone has fun. That's well, Kazuichi's dead. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner, almost as if I were escaping. Kazuichi's gonna die. He's gonna be dead, isn't he? Or someone else is already dead. We did see, uh, the, oh no. Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered. There it is. And three people need to discover it first. So that the 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 kid saw the body first, probably. Then someone else. And then Kazuichi has to be the last, right? Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. A body? That's a lie. Impossible. Someone, someone, come here! All right. So at least Kazuichi. Well, maybe Kazuichi should have been the dead one. Who knows? That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Is it inside? Did that scream just come from in here? Cautiously, I reached my hand toward the doorknob. As I twisted the doorknob and tried to open the door, clatter, clatter, clatter. It won't open. It's locked. No, this is different. It's like something is blocking the door from the other side. What does this mean? Other side? Kazuichi screamed. Did I really hear it coming from in here? No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Baseball bat? Who was it? Oh no. Oh no! What the hell? Wait, what? If this was all a dream, when did I, when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is my hero on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Rip. 
Holy crap. Three hours. Three hours for the day to day stuff, dude. We're done. We're done. We're done. I guess is this chapter is going to be split into three streams. That may just be what it is for all the chapters from now on. I guess we'll find out. Sorry. Three hours. Holy crap. Hey, I'm just happy, Gord Fox, that it wasn't uh, Gundam. Gundam's the only one I don't want to die. <laughs> well, Gundam, Chiaki, Nikomaru, and uh, Akane. So four people. I don't, I don't want those four to die at all. So we'll see. I'm gonna save again, just in case. I always double check. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I guess this one's going to be split up. This chapter's going to be split up in three streams. Maybe that's just how it's going to be for all of them, depending on how long they are. But, uh... Oh, jeez. So, uh, that was a good, it's a good chapter so far, though. It's pretty good. Lord Fox says, I hope they die so you cry like a baby. No. No. None of them better die. I swear to God. Anyway, we'll be back Wednesday. Tune in then if you want to keep up with Danganronpa 2. And until then, go to bed.